Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that will be uploading. Thank you. Hello there, thank you very much. You're welcome to my channel. As you can see, we are going to look at chi-square tests again today. And in this video, we're going to look at one more example of tests of goodness of fit. I want to remind you that when you are given a question regarding tests of goodness of fit, you'll be given um, certain values known as possibly the observed values in the survey, then this will be matched against a given proportion or percentage of expected persons by expected people in the population. Your task now is to actually um, compare, find the expected value by multiplying the proportion or the percentages against the total number of observed frequencies that you are given. When this is done, you will now find the difference and use that to calculate the chi-square um, chi uh, value that we are looking for. Let's look at this example that we have on our own board. As you can see up here, we have a survey of customers' visits to a supermarket. And we're given the days we have uh, in a week day one, day two, two, seven. And we have the observed number of customers that visited within a period of time. And then we have the proportion of customers that is expected on each day of the week. Proportion of customers expected each day of the week. The requirement here is to test the hypothesis whether the observed number of customers match the known proportion of customers 0.05 level of significance. Let's solve this question using test of goodness of fit. The solution here, we we'll start with, what do we start with? We we'll start with statements of the hypothesis. So state the hypothesis, that's the first thing we do to solve the chi-square. And the null hypothesis is saying that um, the number of customers, the number of customers, observed customers, I'll uh, say the observed customers, okay, observed customers, the number of observed customers match the known proportion, match the known, the known proportion. That's what we're claiming. Now, uh, about the, uh, the alternative by saying that the number of observed customers customers as customers do not um, do not match do not match they are not the same match the observed the known option the known option so that's what we have. So um, after you've said the hypothesis, we now need to compute compute the expected frequencies or the expected values. And to compute the expected values, it will be the proportion, the proportion times the total sample in the survey all right so now what's the total sample in the survey if we add up all the values total sample total sample is going to be 15 
plus 16 plus 32 plus 60 plus 70 plus plus 114 plus 83. What's our answer? Can you, can you add up this very quickly? Can you add this up very quickly? Our answer according to solution is 390. 390. So um, I'm going to now go up to the other side of the board so that we can now compute our expected frequency. Let's go to this side. So let's compute um, right here. Compute expected frequencies. Okay. So compute the expected frequency for the one. Um, the one will be um, zero point zero three times three ninety. Can you quickly get these answers for me? Day two will be 0 0.04 times 390. Day three will be 0 0.09 times 390. Day four will be 0 0.18 times 390. Day five will be 0 0.25 just you can see the board on both sides 0 0.25 times 390 the 6 is 0 0.27 times 390 the 7 will be 0 0.14 times 390 okay have you found the answers to these values what's the first one the first one should be 12 the second one should be 16. The three should be 35. 35. The four should be 70. The, the five should be 97. The six should be 105. And the seven will be 55. All right, so that's what we have. These are the expected values that we are going to use. The next thing we do is to calculate our chi-square. Calculate chi-square. And chi-square, we know the formula for chi-square is the summation of observed minus expected all squared all over expected. I will quickly solve chi-square here. So we will we'll put our observed value here out then we have expected not this small for us to use let's, um, let's increase this a little so we have observed minus expected we have observed minus expected all squared then we have observed minus expected all squared rest terminal and then we have divided by expected. So let's fill up this. The observed values are 15 from the table. 15, 16, 32, 60, 70, 114, and then 83. The expected values, we have each of them 12, 16, 35, 70, 97, 105, and then we have 55. That's what we have as our expected values. So we are now to find the difference between observed and expected. And for what we can do quickly, 15 minus 12 is 3, 16 minus 16 is 0, 32 minus 35 is minus 3, 60 minus 70 is minus 10, 70 minus 97, that minus 13, minus uh, 70 minus, that's minus 27, minus 27, and 114 minus 105, that gives us 9, 83 minus 55, 
that gives us 28. Okay. The next thing we'll do is to find the square of these values here. So what we'll now do is this will be 9, then we'll give us 0, this will be 9, this will give us 1, 100. So the second square is giving us 7 to 9. 9 square, we know is 81. 28 square is 784. So 784, that's 28 um, square. All right, so the next thing we do in finding the chi-square is to have this column of your observed and expected all square divided by the expected value. And for this first one, that is 0 0.75. Uh, this will be 0, of course. Um, this is 0, 0, okay. Then the next one is 0. Point Two five seven one two five seven one. Okay, the next one uh, 100 divided by 70 that gives us 1.4286. Okay, and the next one 729 divided by 97 that's giving us 7.5135. Eighty eighty divided by one. 05 that's giving us 0 point this 0 point um, 0 point 7714 7714 and then 784 divided by 55 that is giving us 14 right that's 14 point 254 five okay two five four five please check this up uh, with your calculators and you can give me feedback so now we will now find the sum the summation of all these becomes our chi square the summation of these values is our chi square can you do that quickly for me but what i have is 24.9771 that's 24.98 in any case, 24.98. We're now going to um, compare this value with the critical value for chi-square in our chi-square table. But before we do that, let's determine our degree of freedom. Degree of freedom in this case is equal to the number of row minus one is a contingency table so the number of row is seven minus one that gives us six so we're going to use um, six as the degree of freedom for this question so let's go to our chi-square table to find out the critical value that we'll be comparing this 24.98 Against. Follow me, please, to our case continue. Here, we're looking for degree of freedom six. Can you see that degree of freedom six? And what are we looking for? Zero point zero five. Let's go back to see our question says zero point zero five. Okay, so we'll now come here to six, and then. 0 0.05 it's here okay so what we have is 12.59 12.59 all right let's go to our table let's go to our work board so for my work board chi square tabulated chi square tab at um degree of freedom six at 0 0.05 significance level is equal to 12.59 12.959 so what do we do we'll compare this value against this and according to rules of um, according to the rule of chi-square is that if the chi-square calculated is greater than the chi-square in the table we will reject the null hypothesis in the case that will be the case so 24.98 is obviously greater than 12.59 so 
So we are going to reject the null hypothesis. Let's write our decision here. Please follow me. Our decision will be since um, chi square calculated, which is 24.98, is greater than chi square tabulated, 12.59. We will reject the null hypothesis. This means that the number of observed uh, frequencies is not the same as the number in the known population. So this means that um, there's not enough evidence in the sample. So, so we we'll reject the null hypothesis. Our decision now, no, our conclusion, sorry, our conclusion, our conclusion is that the number of observed customers customers uh, do not match the known the known proportion of population. So they are not the same. They are not. They are not the same. That's what it means. They are not the same. So this is what we we'll do in looking at chi-square tests of goodness of fit. Remember, you'll be given, you'll be given observed values. Then you'll be given proportion of percentages. All you now do is to find the expected value and compare working out your chi-square value you get your chi-square value you now compare what you have in your table with the chi-square what you calculated is greater than what you have in your table you reject otherwise you fail to reject the null hypothesis thank you for joining me in this series we've been going through I want to I really wish to hear from you and do well to like this video share this video place a comment or two and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please do subscribe we're counting on you thank you very much